hello kids let us start with the basics of physics in wave physics the characteristics of wave out of the five characteristics of wave after amplitude wavelength is of utmost importance and what is wavelength let us start it with an example once upon a time there was a race between a tortoise and a hare both of them ran the same distance of say 1 km and in the end someone must be the winner but as we know the hares run very fast and the tortoise runs very slow the tortoise has baby steps while the hare has adult steps naturally for the first 50 meters the hare will be the winner why because he has larger he can leap larger and he can cover more distance in single leap while the tortoise will take baby steps smaller steps slower steps so he will take more number of steps to cover that so whatever the comparison of steps in case of a wave this step or this unit with which a wave covers a distance is known as wavelength so if we consider the two kinds of lengths the two kinds sorry the two kinds of waves the transverse waves and the longitudinal waves we can see the compression and rarefaction compression and rarefaction in which we find equivalent points equivalent positions here there is a compression take the center say this one here there is a compression another compression take the midpoint here so what will be the distance from this to this after this distance the wave has come to its original position again again after this distance it comes to its original position again so after successive covering of distances the wave always assumes its original position and this length between two such equivalent points or two points in same phase this is known as wavelength for longitudinal waves between two crests sorry between the compressions or between two rarefactions the length is known as a wavelength for a transverse wave there are crests and troughs and crests and troughs so between any two crests any two troughs any two nodes at same phase or anti nodes at same phase this length is also known as wavelength so what is wavelength it is the distance between any two points in same phase this is symbolized by the greek letter lambda and for a transverse wave going like this you can see this position and this position are similar so this length will be lambda this position going up is again coming here so this distance is also lambda it is measured in meters si unit is meter and in case of a longitudinal wave you have compressions here again the rarefactions again compressions again the rarefactions and again compressions so between two compressions you have a lambda between two rarefactions you have a lambda so this is how we define wavelength it is the distance between two successive points which are in same phase so in case of transverse wave motion or in longitudinal wave motion we can measure this distance as two points in same phase or same condition this is what we know is wavelength and what are the formula for them wavelength as it is a distance we know that s is equal to vt is a general formula 
which we have studied in class 9 distance is equal to speed into time so if this is the distance lambda then it should be the product of the speed of the wave v into the time it is taking t so lambda is root t as we know time period t is equal to 1 by mu time period is reciprocal of frequency so if we replace t we can write v into 1 by mu so this is equal to v by mu so v by mu is also lambda so we have lambda having two formulae one is velocity upon frequency another is velocity into time period both ways velocity is common this is something you must note it down and with this we conclude the concept of wavelength thank you